My understanding is they hired a PR person, and that is what we see. The video, released Wednesday by La Mesa police, included more than just body cam footage of the shooting of grandmother Leslie Furcron at a May 30th protest. It also included other incidents, people throwing rocks at the police headquarters, arson fires being burned in buildings, rocks lobbed at La Mesa police officers, and more. Video with slides and drawings and diagrams. Attorney Dante Pride represents the grandmother. It's my position that the city of La Mesa and La Mesa Police Department did it solely for purposes of trying to control the narrative. We going live out here! Since Leslie Furcron was streaming the protest live on Facebook, from the moment she arrived to the moment she got shot, it's clear from the video the grandmother was not throwing rocks or setting fires to buildings. She did, however, throw a soda can. She tips the can up to finish drinking, so the can is empty. Uh, had that can struck an officer uh, or even come close to striking an officer, that would have been on the video that they released. Here's the body cam video showing the 59-year-old throwing the can and then being shot in the head with a beanbag round. The officer doing the shooting was identified as Eric Knudsen, a 12-year veteran of the department, seen here getting a Salute to Heroes award by the La Mesa police chief back in 2018. Knudsen fired from about 100 feet away and apparently thought he was shooting at a man. That was a guy in Sterling. That guy, the guy with the down right now, he's the one who's throwing it. La Mesa police say she threw the can in the direction of deputies in the parking lot but it's unclear from the video exactly how far away those deputies were standing. The only thing we saw when Ms. Furcron was shot was her standing still, and that's when the police officer fired his weapon. Officer Knudsen currently is on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. It's now been turned over to the district attorney's office. They're going to determine whether the shooting of that beanbag round was justified. David, we see police releasing video of shooting incidents fairly quickly. This was back at the end of May, so it took about two months. That's right. We've seen San Diego police releasing uh, body cam video of officer-involved shootings within a couple days. But more frequently now, we are seeing selective release of video. The video is being edited. And frankly, the way it's being packaged looks more like public relations in favor of the police department. All we really need to see is the raw video and all of it. David Goffertson, thank you.